ke berarti yang Sudah windeim, putaran deim, dari sudah ruhai deim, jadi nama tni. Amin. Tanda studi ulang agak asyum bumi, naranya di kena belawan ay dewan gembiran, dari sudan, dari sudan, dari sudan. Wiranggal illo shanam. Dewi ay kerbau ay deh, jadi nama tni. Tanda minum berwan, di kena minum ay win win bar kepada nagunno. Wiranggal illo studi. Dewi ay ni dari sudan agunno. Belawan ay dari sudan agunno. ൂഷിക്കപ്പെട്ടവനെങ്ങളോട് <laughs> രാജാവേ <laughs> ഞങ്ങളുടെ <laughs> <laughs> ും നിറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നവയുമായ കതിരുകളാൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കണ്ണുകളെ നീ പ്രകാശിപ്പിക്കണമേ മരിച്ചവരുടെ ഇടയിൽ നിന്നുള്ള നിന്റെ ഉയർത്തെഴുന്നേൽപ്പ് ദിവസത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങളെ സന്തോഷിപ്പിക്കുകയും നിന്റെ കർത്തൃത്വത്തിന്റെ ഉദയത്താൽ ഞങ്ങളെ ആനന്ദിപ്പിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവന്റെ ആശാബന്ധവും ആത്മാക്കളുടെ രക്ഷിതാവുമായിരിക്കുന്ന ഞങ്ങളുടെ മിഷിയാകർത്താവേ നിന്റെ കൃപയുടെ സഹായത്താൽ ഞങ്ങളെ തുണയ്ക്കണമേ മോരൻ നിന്റെ കൃപയിൻ പ്രകാരം എന്നോട് കരുണ ചെയ്യണമേ നിന്റെ കരുണയുടെ ബോധ പ്രകാരം എന്റെ പാപങ്ങൾ മായിച്ചു കളയണമേ എന്റെ ന്യായത്തിൽ ും 
Namaskar to everyone. Namaskar to everyone. Hearty welcome to you all. We are in the celebration of the feast of the nativity of Mother of God, Queen Mary. And very especially today, four of our kids are going to receive our Lord Jesus Christ very solemnly. And they are Stefan Simon, Jeevan Vorghis, Rayon Vorghis, and Stephen Joseph. Congratulations to you in anticipation. And we all pray for you and let us pray for all these kids and their families in a very special way in today's Mass. And uh, once again, welcoming you all, let us celebrate this Mass of our feast uh, and glorify God. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that we may offer this holy kurbono for the intentions of this community, especially for the intentions of this church communicants. May the Lord be pleased with your prayers and the sacrifice and having accepted your offerings, grant us communion with you. Please be seated for the Old Testament reading. A reading from the book of, of the glorious prophet Isaiah, Barakimor. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord of the prophet, and let his mercy be on us forever. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland of a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall make be a plain. The rough country, a broad valley. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all mankind shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. I answer, what shall I cry out? All mankind is grass and all their glory like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. So then, the people is the grass. Through the grass withers and the flower wilts, the word of our God stands forever. Go up on the high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out on top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, here's your God, here comes with power, the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm, hears his reward with him. His recompense before him, like a shepherd he feeds his flock. In his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading with ewes with care. Barakimor. Dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ, let us also remember those who celebrated their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Isiyama Kudivula, Joshua Baby, Mariama Vurgis, Nima Simon, George Thomas, Shibinji Matthews, Shilpa S. Matthews, Jude Sack, Josie, Skaria Itivarai and Rennie Francis, Roy Vorghis, and Jaya Roy, Tony Johnson, and Priya Johnson. In your church, O Lord of heaven, behold, I am and I stand worshiping before your holy throne. Wipe away my every sin, absolving all transgression. Please with these gifts that 
you 
various trials for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance and let perseverance be perfect so that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing but if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly and he will be given it but he should ask in faith not doubting for the one who doubts is like the wave of the sea that is driven and tossed out by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. Bharatimor. Preaching of the Holy Apostle, I heard is someone shall Shall be in the church, die 
Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord unworthily will have the answer for the body and blood of the Lord. A person should examine himself, and so eat the bread and drink the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body eats and drinks judgment on himself. of life and salvation to the world. Blessed is he who has come and is to come. Glory to one who has sent him and let his blessing be upon us forever. In the time of the Annunciation of our Lord, God and Saviour Jesus Christ, the living Word of God, who took flesh of the Holy Virgin Mary, these things came to pass. We believe and confess it. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on, Will all ages call me blessed? The Mighty One has done great things for me, and is holy, holy is His name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear Him. He has shown might with His arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with the good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. According to his promise, to our fathers, to Abraham and his descendants forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned her home. Peace be with you. O Mother of God, blessed are We come and praise you. 
My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, today our cathedral parish family is celebrating in anticipation the feast of the Nativity of Mother Mary, the heavenly patroness of our church. The actual feast falls on 8th September. On this blessed occasion, I wish you all a happy feast and invoke the motherly blessings of the Blessed Virgin Mary upon the entire parish community and especially for our first communicants. The First Holy Communion is one of the most important and significant events among our feast day celebrations this year. By the providence of God, we have four first holy communicants. They are Stefan Simon, please stand up and the parents, Simon and Jensi. Please stand up. Thank you. The second is Rayon Verghese, son of Binu and Sangi, their parents. The third, Stephen Joseph, son of Benjamin and Rani. Fourth, Jeevan Verghese, son of Gretchen and Tanya. Please be seated. On behalf of this parish and the entire eparchy, I wish them cordial congratulations and prayerful felicitations. I take this opportunity to express our deep appreciation to the parents of these children for their sacrificial initiatives to prepare their children for this great spiritual event. Special appreciation to all who prepared and supported them for this spiritual first communion. I acknowledge with gratitude the animations of our reverend sisters, Sita and Kanchana, in this regard. Above all, we are deeply indebted to our pastor, Nobiaji, for his most dedicated services for teaching these children and guiding the parents and the whole parish community. I have seen him investing a lot of energy in the faith and the Eucharistic formation of these children. Indeed, it is praiseworthy and exemplary. Thank you, Acha. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we know that although these children had received the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ on their baptism day when they were infants, but today they received the Eucharistic Lord 
with full knowledge and motivation. Hence, this Eucharistic communion is a special milestone in their spiritual journey of life. On this day, we all rejoice with them and we pray for them. My dear Stephen, Rayon, Stephen and Jeevan, today is the most rememberable and blessed day in your life because you are receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and God. You are receiving Jesus as your personal Savior in and through the most precious body and blood of Jesus. You receive the greatest gift in your life. God gives himself to you through this Eucharistic communion and manifests his unconditional love for you. That means your God who is your creator, your God who is your provider, your God who is your savior, your God who is your ultimate judge. This great God comes to dwell in your hearts in a sacramental manner. The Almighty God who revealed and incarnated in the person of Jesus Christ is giving himself to you as an expression of his personal love for you. For Jesus taught, there is no greater love than giving oneself to the beloved. Please remember, you are receiving the Eucharistic communion on a very significant occasion, namely, in connection with the feast of the birthday of our Heavenly Mother Mary. Eucharistic communion means receiving a real Jesus Christ in one's heart sacramentally, in the form of bread and wine, as meant and instituted by Jesus Christ himself. This communion of Jesus Christ involves a special relationship and connectivity with Mary, the mother of Jesus. There is a unique relationship between Mary and the Eucharist. We believe that Jesus Christ present in the Eucharist was born of Virgin Mary. Unless Mary had conceived him and he had given him flesh and blood, he could not have, at the Last Supper said, this is my body and this is my blood given up for you. I repeat, unless Mary had conceived him and had given him flesh and blood, he could not have at the Last Supper said, this is my body and this is my blood given up for you. All our bodies are from our parents. But the body of Christ comes from his mother only. Because Jesus had no human father as we all have. That is why St. Augustine says, Eucharist, begin, uh, Eucharist began in the womb of Mary. This is a strong statement. Eucharist began in the womb of Mary. The flesh of Jesus is the flesh of Mary. The flesh and blood of Jesus, which he offered as food and drink for our eternal life, as described in the Gospel of John chapter 6, are formed from Mother Mary. However, please remember, today, through the Eucharistic communion, we receive the body of the risen Lord, the resurrected Jesus Christ. Only those who believe in the words of Jesus and only in faith we can comprehend this mystery of faith. 
In the Eucharist, we see only what looks like bread and wine, what tastes like bread and wine. But faith tells us that it is not bread and wine, but they are precious body and blood of Christ. It is not a scientific truth, instead a theological truth. In the case of the Eucharist, the word of God matters rather than any experimental statements. Therefore, based on the word of God and revelation, the church teaches that without Mary, there is no incarnated Jesus. Without Mary, there is no incarnated Jesus. And without the incarnated Jesus, there is no Eucharist. Therefore, Mary and Eucharist are intrinsically interrelated. And today, on the feast, of, feast day of Mary, the feast of the nativity of Our Lady, we acknowledge with gratitude the special role of Mary in the birth of Jesus and his salvific mission and in his continued Eucharistic presence in the church today. Jesus Christ, our Lord, instituted the sacrament of Eucharist to sanctify and purify true believers, to ennoble and enable the true believers, to heal and redeem the true believers, to empower and transform true believers. In this faith, dear sisters and brothers, let us receive Holy Communion today. Mary tells us today that Jesus Christ is alive and present amidst us through the Eucharist. And when we believe and receive the Holy Communion in a worthy manner, we participate in the life of Christ. It enables a profound sense of communion with God. St. Teresa of Lisieux writes in her autobiography about her own experience of the First Holy Communion. She writes, I felt that I was so loved by Jesus. And I said to Jesus, I love you, Jesus, and I give myself to you forever. And she continues, On the First Communion Day, my experience was a fusion. Jesus and I were no longer two. I had vanished in him as a drop of water vanishes in the ocean. Jesus alone remained. She recalls that, ex that she experienced the same spiritual joy and ecstasy whenever she received the Holy Communion. And when she received Holy Communion daily. Dear sisters and brothers, in Christ, we see similar expression in the case of St. Paul who writes, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. In the history of church, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we come across several stories of many people who lived and died in the power of the Holy Eucharist. Time limitations does not permit me to highlight such real and inspirational stories. We read in the contemporary history, during the moon landing mission of Apollo, the great American astronaut Edwin Alton carried Holy Communion with him to the moon and consumed Holy Communion as he landed in moon. Recently canonized, a boy saint named Carlo Maria Acutis in Italy. His story tells that 
He had a passionate love for Jesus Christ and the Eucharist, and he received Holy Communion daily. And for the propagation of this passionate love for Christ, he prepared and collected more than 140 Eucharistic miracles happened in the world and prepared a digital library for the devotees. Recently in India, a young girl, a lady named Ancha George, she experienced Eucharistic power in her daily life, who died recently in the month of January 2022. Her story, we find in YouTube's media, is so move, moving and touching. We all, from our own experience, can enumerate numerous examples of ordinary people who receive Holy Communion daily and live in the power of the Eucharist daily. I know in the villages, the farmers, before they go for farming and cultivation, they attend Holy Kurbono. And by the power of the Holy Kurbono, they work in the field and produce products for the welfare of humanity. I know scientists, teachers, ordinary workers, they go to church daily and receive inspiration and power from the Eucharist in order to continue their mission in their respective fields. Today, as these four children receive Holy Communion, and we too, let us pray that we may experience the presence and power of Christ in our lives amidst all our experiences. Like Mary, the mother of Jesus, we too need to be and to become bearers of Christ in this con complex world which is dominated by evil powers. May this feast day celebrations bring us closer to God and to one another as true believers in the spirit of faith and love as manifested in the life of Mother Mary. This cathedral family which is dedicated to the Mother Mary and these first communicants when we receive the Holy Communion and receive this Holy Krubono pray with Mother Mary and praise the Lord the same Magnificat Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit Amen Parkimor stomen kalos Kuri Let us pray and beg for mercy and compassion from the Lord Merciful Lord Have mercy upon us and help us Make us worthy, O Lord God, to offer praise, thanksgiving, glory, honor, and exaltation without ceasing and at all times forever. Praise to the pure sacrifice who became a priest unto himself and became an acceptable oblation to the Father for the sake of his flock. Praise to the blessed Lamb, who in his love was stretched out on the arms of the cross, and who redeemed the people and the nations by his death. To him are due glory, honor, at this time of the celebration of the divine Eucharist, and at all feasts, seasons, hours, and times, and all the days of our lives forever and ever. Hosho Wabukul Suba Allah more before the merciful Lord and before this atoning altar, 
and before these divine and heavenly mysteries, incense is being set. Let us pray and beg for mercy and compassion from the Lord. Merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Merciful Lord, who forgive our sins and pardon our offenses, wipe away my great and innumerable sins and those of your faithful people. O oh Lord God, have pity and be merciful to us. Lord, in your mercy, remember our souls and souls of our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, our elders and teachers, our departed ones, and all the faithful departed, the children of the Holy and the Glorious Church. Give rest to their souls, spirits, and bodies, and shed the dew of your mercy and compassion on them. Be to us and to them absolution and the absolver of sins. O Christ our King, our Lord, the Lord of glory. Answer us, O Lord, and come to our aid and save us. In your mercy, receive our prayers and keep us free from all harm. Deliver us, Lord, from all chastisements in your loving kindness. O Lord, remove from us the dread scourge of your wrath. Make us worthy of the end that befits a Christian and is pleasing and proper to your divinity. We will offer you praise and thanksgiving now and always and forever. O show Wabukul Subah me. Amen. O God, the exalted world. Heaven is contained in your palm, yet you are carried in the hands of the earthly ones as atonement. O mighty one, the powerful company of Serubim, tremble on account of your radiance, yet the church and her children take delight in your holy body. O radiant one, the company of Seraphim shunder before you, but mortal men are nourished by you. O kind one, your goodness accept no change, nor your priesthood. Transformation. O living, O life-giving cluster, those who crucified you, pressed you, but they did not taste, whereas the faithful receive you. O heavenly bread, those who partake of you never hunger. O spiritual drink, those who drink of you do not thirst. You are the fruit who grant eternal life, to those who receive you, and you are the fountain who make those who drink of you inherit unending blessing. You are the sweet sustenance who, even if eaten daily, is never consumed, and if drunk every day, is never finished. You are always broken but you never die. You are given continually, but never depleted. O living one, those who believe in you rejoice, but those who scrutinize you are put to shame. O most high and infinite God, with the fragrance of this sweet incense, we entreat you 
and your ineffable love towards humankind. Grant us the grace to understand how great it is to stand before your holy altar. Grant us indeed your sight to behold you, spiritual ears to hear your commandments, a pure heart that prays with humility, good thoughts which are pleasing to your divinity. Lord, give us pure hands to administer your ministries. Give us, Lord, innocent lips that praise and give thanks to you for your mercy. Give us pure tongues that glorify your holy name. Give us holy mouths that partake of your body and spiritual tongues which taste your blood. Your plenitude will satisfy our hunger and the sweetness of your fountain will quench our thirst. May we always praise you with the fruit of our lips and sing joyful songs with our tongues and glorify you in true faith. May we and our faithful departed rejoice in you as one body. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your Father and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. O so, Wabu kul subhan lawal me Amen May the Lord accept your service and help us through your prayers May we receive from God pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever Amen. I, weak and sinful servants, confess and say, Kadi Abo Kadi Sho. sins of his sinful servant and extends mercy to our souls and the souls of our mothers and fathers, our brothers and sisters, our elders and teachers, our departed and all the faithful departed, the children of the Holy Church in both worlds forever. divine wisdom is proclaimed let us stand respectfully and respond we believe in one God the Father the Almighty maker of heaven and earth all things visible and invisible we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only begotten Son of God eternally begotten of the Father before all ages Life from life, true life from true God, begotten of me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary, and became incarnate, for our sake, he was crucified, under Pontius Pilate, he suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, according to his holy will, and ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, in great glory, to 
judge the living and the dead, and is the kingdom of have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life to all, who proceeds from the Father, and who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets and apostles. We believe in the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. See the time of petition and the time for remission. This is the time for worship, the proper time of God's mercy. Feet of high priest on high step are placed on this day and he celebrates holy of mercy grant peace to your church and protect the world by your grace we will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit now and always and forever amen peace be with you Your spirit. Let us give the holy and divine kiss of peace to each other in the love of our Lord and our God. O Lord God, make us worthy of this peace throughout our life. Let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before you, our Lord and our God. Lord, let your right hand, full of blessings, rest upon your servants and your worshippers who bow their hearts before you. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. O Lord, strengthen us that we may offer you this spiritual and bloodless sacrifice on account of the sins and iniquities of your flock. By this sacrifice, wholly forgive our transgressions and offenses. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Parkimor, brethren, let us all meditate on this awe-inspiring Holy Corbano with true faith, piety, love, and reverence. For this living and divine sacrifice, which is being offered on behalf of us, to God the Father, the Lord of all things, is for our peace and tranquility. This Kurban is blessing, peace, sacrifice, and thanksgiving. Ubo. 
The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, the communion and the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brethren, forever. Amen. And to the Holy Spirit, let our minds and thoughts and hearts be raised on high to Christ our God, who sits at the right hand of God the Father. Our, our minds, thoughts, and hearts are with the Lord our God. God. In fear and reverence, let us give thanks to the Lord. It is just and right to give thanks to the Lord in fear and reverence. Let us glorify him, whom the angels, the archangels, cherubim and seraphim, thrones and dominions, and all the invisible and innumerable heavenly orders, choirs and hosts, unceasingly praise with indescribable words and unceasing songs of victory, proclaiming and saying, Holy, 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 O Lord God Almighty, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of His glory. love for us and for the sake of our salvation. He willingly emptied himself and suffered in the flesh. On the night of his passion, he took bread in his holy hand and gave thanks to you. Burning you he blessed, sanctified, broke and gave to his disciples, saying, Take and eat of it, this is my body, broken for you and for many, for the remission of sins and life eternal. same way he took the chalice mixed with wine and water and gave thanks. But he blessed, sanctified, and gave to his holy apostles, saying, Take and drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins and life eternal. Amen. Our Lord commanded his disciples, saying, Whenever you celebrate these holy mysteries, commemorate my death and resurrection, until I come. 
Lord, your death we second coming on account of this we stand with fear and trembling we petition and beseech you and through you your father saying have mercy on us o god the father almighty o lord we your weak and sinful servants the recipients of your grace offer you praise and thanksgiving for your loving mercy to and for all things now and always and forever we praise you we bless you we adore you and we thank you o lord god have pity and mercy upon us Arkimor my beloved how holy and sacred is this moment when the living holy spirit descends from the heavenly heights and hovers upon and sanctifies this divine corbano let us pray in fear and reverence may peace and tranquility be with us all answer me o lord answer me o lord Answer me and have compassion and mercy on us, O Lord. Kriyai so, Kriyai so, Kriyai so. May the Holy Spirit come upon this bread and make it. the body of christ our god amen and may the holy spirit perfect the mixture in this chalice and make it the blood of christ our god amen oh lord by the reception of your holy body and blood may we all become inheritors of your heavenly kingdom and be made worthy to rejoice in the new life with the saints we will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit now and always and forever amen parikh mo can we pray For all the fathers who rule the churches of God in the four quarters of the world, especially those who shepherd us, the head of the universal church, the Holy Father Pope Francis, the head and father of our church, Mor Amor Basilios Klimis Katolikios, and our bishop Abu Mar Stefanos, and with them, let us pray for all the bishops of the true faith, and all priests, deacons, and ascetics, and for the entire Christian church. Let us pray to the Lord. Kriyai so. O Lord, enlighten your shepherds with the light of your divine teachings and grant us prosperous and peaceful lives. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Now and always and forever. Amen. For your again we pray for our faithful and true Christian brethren, especially those now facing trials and tribulations. 
Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, be merciful and care for the weary, the persecuted, the afflicted, the distressed, the poor, those in need, the strangers, the downtrodden, the captives, the destitute, the orphans and the widows. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Baraki more again, let us pray for our rulers and leaders, that they may lead us in truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, grant us your grace that we may lead a comfortable and pleasant life before you, that we may be treated mercifully by those who rule over us. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Baraki Moore, again let's remember the holy, glorious, blessed, and ever-Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and with her let us remember our Father, the Apostle Thomas, the prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, and confessors. May their intercession be a stronghold to us, let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, by the petition and intercession of Mother Mary and of those who pleased you by the righteousness, make us worthy of the portion and the Lord that are with them. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Baraki Moran, again, let's remember the Holy Fathers and Reverend Doctors who kept the one true apostolic faith undefiled and handed over to us. May their prayer be a stronghold to us. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, confirm us on the rock of the true faith, confirmed by the holy and the ecumenical councils. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Baraki again, let us remember all those who depart from us in true faith and love. Let us beseech the Lord that he might grant them the pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins, and that he, may, he might lead us in them into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord and say three times, Kuriyalai Son. O Lord, do not allow our departed to be subdued by the powers of darkness. Deliver them from the bondages of evil spirits and from all torture and misery. Let the light of your only begotten Son shine upon us and them through him we hope to receive for us and for them forgiveness of sins and obtain mercy. O Lord, console and justify all the faithful to part in the true faith. Forgive all the offenses committed by them and by us before you, willingly or unwillingly, knowingly or unknowingly. O Lord, in the abundance of your mercy, 
give answer to our prayers. Deliver us and our faithful departed from the judgment to come and the tortures reserved for the wicked. May your blessed name be praised and glorified together with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and that of your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. As it was, and it is, and shall remain from generation to generation, to all ages, forever and ever. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Mother mercy of the great God, our Savior Jesus Christ, be with you my brother and forever O oh, gracious lord and your of thought, simplicity of tongue, cleanliness of body, and confidence in soul. We pray together in loud voice that prayer which your only begotten Son taught us, our Father who art in heaven. How will be thy way, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this will till we pray, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. O merciful Father, who made us worthy to be called your children. Deliver us from hard temptations, save us from the evil one and from his evil powers and from the malice of the wicked men. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And 
Peace with your spirit. Archimor, before we receive the holy mysteries which have been offered, let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before you, our Lord of our love. O great and almighty King, under the scepter of your sovereignty, all creation bends down. Send your blessings upon your holy church, who stands before you with head bowed. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. May the grace and mercy of the Holy and glorious Trinity, uncreated, self-existent, eternal, worshipful, and consubstantial be with you my brother and forever. Amen. Parkimore, let us stand in awe and reverence. Lord, have pity and mercy on us. Holy mysteries to the holy people. There is none holy but the one holy Father the one Holy Son, and the one Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and, and to, to the Son, and to the living Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. Let the one Holy Father, who created the universe in His mercy, be with us. Amen. Let the one holy Son, who redeemed it by his precious passion, be with us. Amen. Let the one living Holy Spirit, the perfecter of all that has been and that will be, be with us. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever, that we become God's children, those who taught us during life we shall we call to ൂരാജമകൾ <laughs> ജനമോർ 
സംരക്ഷകനും കാവൽക്കാരനുമായിരുന്ന വിശുദ്ധ ഔസേപ്പ് പിതാവിൻ്റെ മാധ്യസ്ഥം അപേക്ഷിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ കുടുംബങ്ങളെയും വിശുദ്ധിയിലും നന്മയിലും സ്നേഹത്തിലും സമാധാനത്തിലും വളർത്തണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം നയവാൻ തളിർത്തിടുമേ ിപ്പിങ്ങൾ കാവോടാ അടികളെയും നിൽക്കോ 
ൃപോലെ <laughs> ഭക്തന്മാരിൽ ദൈവം കൃപ receive the holy eucharist in double species and that will be followed by the reception of the holy eucharist by the parents and the siblings uh, and if the grandparents present and after that as usual we have the opportunity to receive the holy communion in four stations O son of God who came for our salvation and will come for the resurrection and renewal of our race may pardon come upon your servants from the turning altar forever Amen stretch forth lord god your invisible right hand and bless this assembly of your worshipers who partake of your holy mysteries for the pardon of offenses and the forgiveness of sins and confidence in your presence our lord and god forever sing of our great god and savior jesus christ be on those who carry 
Give and receive these holy mysteries. Mother mercy of the Holy Trinity, be on those who have labored and have had part in them in both worlds forever. and forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever. Amen. The High Priest and Priest and deacons are placed on this earth to serve the church through ordination by our Lord God. We adore the Holy Church Oh, you know, 
Do you? 
but for the life and salvation of us all o oh lord have mercy on us all the whole world be out of your holy body and precious blood we will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit now and always and forever spirit you were sacrificed for us and gave us your holy body to eat and your atoning blood to drink confirm us in your love fill us with reverence for you establish in us your faith adorn us with blameless conduct and forgive our sins and those of our departed so that we may continually glorify you and God the Father who begat you and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever Amen Thank you Bless us O Lord Almighty God us you are creator show us kindly the living way Lord who is our protector bless you with the provisions and blessings which you have received from the holy altar of the lord amen you who are far and near living and departed 
redeemed by the victorious cross of the Lord and sealed with the sign of the holy baptism. May this holy trinity pardon your offenses and forgive your faults and give rest to the souls of your departed. Amen. May I, his weak and sinful servant, obtain mercy and help by your prayers. Go in peace, be glad, rejoice, and pray for us. Amen. May the Lord accept your sacrifice and help us by your prayers. Blood out of my depths, O Lord, by your hands of mercy, and cleanse me from all my sins, making holy through your grace. O Page number 249, the Malayalam Kurbana Kramam. Kanye nin prarthena me vete, 
ഞങ്ങളോടും നീ ചർത്തേനകേട്ടി തേകീടട്ടെ പ്രാപിച്ച് വീണ്ടും കൊള്ളപ്പെടുമാറാകണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ രക്ഷകനും വീണ്ടെടുപ്പുകാരനും നീ ആയിരിക്കുന്നതിനാൽ ഞങ്ങളോട് ദയുണ്ടാകണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ രഹസ്യവും പരസ്യവുമായ തെറ്റുകളെയും കുറ്റങ്ങളെയും ഓർക്കരുതേ കർത്താവേ ഞങ്ങളോട് നീ കോപിക്കുകയും വരുതേ നിന്റെ കരുണയാലും മനുഷ്യ സ്നേഹത്താലും ഞങ്ങളെ കാത്തുകളണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ശത്രുക്കൾ നിന്ന് ഞങ്ങളെ രക്ഷിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ എന്തുകൊണ്ടെന്നാൽ നീ ഞങ്ങളെ ദൈവവും ഞങ്ങൾ നിൻ്റെ ജനവുമാകുന്നുവല്ലോ നല്ലവനായ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവേ നിന്നെ പ്രസവിച്ച വിശുദ്ധ കന്യകമറിയാം എൻ്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥ പ്രാർത്ഥനയാൽ ഞങ്ങളോട് കരുണയുണ്ടാകണമേ മാതാവിന് തിരുസന്നധിയിൽ ധൈര്യവും മുഖപ്രസന്നതയും ഉള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഉത്തമനായല്ലോവേ ദേതോന്നി ഞങ്ങളുടെ മേൽ അനുഗ്രഹം ചെയ്യണമേ ും 
സകലത്തെയും കാൽ മഹത്വമുള്ളവളുമായ മാതാവേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഈ അപേക്ഷയെ നീ കൈക്കൊള്ളണമേ ഞങ്ങളെല്ലാവരെയും നിന്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥതയാൽ ദുഃഖങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും ആപത്തുകളിൽ നിന്നും വിടുവിക്കണമേ എല്ലാവിധ ദോഷകരമായ പ്രതികാരത്തിൽ നിന്നും സംരക്ഷിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്റെ മുൻപാക ഉച്ചത്തിൽ കേണപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു കരുണിയുടെ വാതിലെ സകല നന്മകളുടെയും ഭണ്ണാരമേ തന്നോട് അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നവരെ ലജ്ജിപ്പിക്കാത്തവളായി ഞങ്ങളുടെ നാഥയും കന്യകയുമായി അമ്മേ ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കുവാൻ നീ വേഗത്തിൽ എഴുന്നള്ളി വരണമേ നിന്റെ സ്വീകാര്യ പ്രാർത്ഥന വഴിയായി ബലഹീനരായി ഞങ്ങളെ ശക്തിപ്പെടുത്തണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ രോഗങ്ങളെ സുഖപ്പെടുത്തണമേ നിന്റെ അപേക്ഷയാൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കറകളെ മായിച്ച് ആത്മാക്കളെ വിശുദ്ധീകരിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ വിചാരങ്ങളെ നിർമ്മലമാക്കുകയും വഴികളെ നേരെയാക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ മാതാവേ നിന്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥതയാൽ ക്ഷീണിതർ ശക്തി പ്രാപിക്കുമാറാകണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ വൃദ്ധ ജനങ്ങളെ താങ്ങണമേ യുവതിയുവാക്കന്മാരെ പരിപാലിക്കണമേ വൈദങ്ങളെ ജ്ഞാനത്തിലും ദൈവഭയത്തിലും വളർത്തണമേ മാതാവേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ സമീപസ്ഥരെ കാത്തുകൊള്ളുകയും ദൂരസ്ഥര സമാധാനത്തോട് തിരിച്ചു വരുത്തുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ പരിശുദ്ധ അമ്മേ ദുർബലർക്ക് കരുണ ലഭിക്കണമേ പാപികളുടെ കടങ്ങളും പാപങ്ങളും ക്ഷമിക്കണമേ മാതാവേ നിന്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥം ഉത്തമ പുരുഷന്മാർക്ക് സുഹൃത സ്ത്രീകൾക്കും അഭയസ്ഥാനമായിരിക്കണമേ വിശ്വാസികളായി ഞങ്ങളെ മരിച്ചു പോയവർക്ക് കരുണ ലഭിക്കുമാറാകണമേ ദുഷ്യമനുഷ്യരുടെ ഉപദ്രവങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും അസൂയക്കാളിൽ നിന്നും ഞങ്ങളെ രക്ഷിക്കണമേ നിർദ്ദേഹരായ ജനങ്ങളെ ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്നും അകറ്റണമേ തിരുസഭയെയും അതിൻ്റെ മക്കളെയും സംരക്ഷിക്കണമേ 
മാതാവേ നിന്നിൽ ആശ്രയിക്കുന്നവർക്ക് ആശ്രയിക്കുന്നവർ സുരക്ഷിതരായി തീരണമേ ശ്രേഷ്ഠകരമായ നിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധതയുടെ മുൻപിൽ നിൽക്കുന്ന ഈ നിന്റെ ദാസരുടെ അപേക്ഷകളെയും ജാഗരണങ്ങളെയും നീ സ്വീകരിക്കണമേ ഇവിടെ എല്ലാവിധമായ രോഗങ്ങളെയും സുഖപ്പെടുത്തണമേ മാതാവേ നിന്റെ കരുണയിൻ കോട്ട ഇവരെ ചുറ്റിക്കൊണ്ട് പൈശാചിക ബന്ധനങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും എല്ലാവിധ അപകടങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും കാത്തുകൊള്ളണമേ നിന്റെ വിശുദ്ധതയുടെ മറയവർക്ക് അഭയസ്ഥാനമായിരിക്കണമേ ഇന്നിവിടെ സന്നിഹിതനായിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ നിന്റെ മക്കളുടെ ഭൗതികവും ആധ്യാത്മികവുമായ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഇവർ വിജയികളായിരിക്കണമേ രഹസ്യവും പരസ്യവുമായ ജീവിതത്തിലുണ്ടാകാവുന്ന എല്ലാ ശത്രുക്കളിൽ നിന്നും ഇവരെ സംരക്ഷിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ മാതാവേ ഞങ്ങളെയും തിരുസഭയെയും നിന്റെ പുരോഹിതന്മാരെയും ശമാശന്മാരെയും സന്യസ്രയെയും എല്ലാ കുടുംബങ്ങളെയും ഇവിടെ സന്നിധരായിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ ജനത്തെയും കാത്തുകൊള്ളണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ ശബ്ദമുയർത്തി മൂന്ന് പ്രാവശ്യം കുറിയലായി സോനെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു കുറിയലായി സോ കുറിയലായി സോ കുറിയലായി സോ രക്ഷക നാം സിഹ
So thank God with you for this wonderful day, wonderful morning, and for allowing us graciously to participate in the divine liturgy and in the intercessory prayers. And also let me thank our Tirumeni for leading us in this liturgy so beautifully with a profound and deep message on the Eucharist. Let us all reflect on it again and again and let us try to receive the Holy Communion in a worthy manner. Thank you, Trimeni, uh, for leading the liturgy and uh, for giving the First Communion to all these wonderful four boys. <laughs> so now, Jeevan, Stephen, Rayon, and Stefan. So congratulations to you, and yesterday, as I was asking you the questions, how you are going to receive uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. You all studied very well, and you all were well trained by Reverend Sister Sida and Sister Kanjana. They uh, really did a good work, and especially Sister Sida was uh, doing all the academic part, and Sister uh, Kanjana was with all the other things. Uh, even yesterday, uh, she was here till 11 o'clock, uh, was helping with all the other arrangements. And thank you, Sister Sita and Sister Kanjana. <laughs> and let me also congratulate your parents, uh, Jinsi Simon, Dania Gracian, uh, Benjamin and Rani, uh, and Binu and uh, Sangeet. Uh, you, as three many mentioned, you took such a great initiative for this, uh, uh, for the reception of your children's Holy Communion. So you really made it a big event. Uh, and uh, always do the follow-up with your action and with your word so that they may always be filled with our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you. And all the siblings and all the family members, I see some of the grandparents, congratulations to you too, and all the family members, and to you, all my dear uh, uh, parish parishioners, and also I see a lot of guests here. Thank you for coming. Let me also extend a word of thanks to our beautiful choir today, 
And thank you very much for singing and helping us with beautiful songs. <laughs> and also to Tambachan for making all the arrangements on the altar, along with my dear loving altar, wonderful altar boys. Thank you so much, the altar boys. <laughs> thank you, John, uh, for helping us with the sound. John and Binu here, Anu Borges with us. Thank you, the photographers and uh, the Mothers Forum and the Parish Council. And especially today, I should thank uh, Rinsi, our secretary. Where is she? Ah, she's here, right. OK. Uh, Rinsi, thank you very much. Yesterday, she was also there with the parents uh, to do the beautiful decorations here in the church and in the basement you are going to see. Uh, so thank you very much, Rinsi. You all were. I, when it was 11 o'clock, I said, you all have to go back because I have to close the church and go to sleep. So finally, they went. They left. Thank you very much for going and obeying my words yesterday. <laughs> and uh, once again, thanks to all. Uh, and Bini Jain is not here today on a special thing, but yesterday he arranged everything, our treasurer. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Bini Jacob, and uh, everyone who are here. Let me do the announcements. First, the bands of marriage. The marriage between James Thomas, son of Mr. Saji Thomas and Mrs. Walsa Paul, Saji residing in Westbury, New York, of our parish, and Jennifer Philippos, daughter of Mr. John Philippos, and Mr. Mrs. Lisa Ma John residing in Louisville, Texas, is scheduled to be held on September 10th, 2022, at St. Vincent de Paul Cathedral, uh, Parish Elmont. If there is any canonical impediment to this marriage, kindly bring it, bring it to the attention of the pastor. This is the third announcement. The marriage between Binoy Babukuti, son of Mr. Babukuti Tundiat, and Mrs. Lisa Babukuti, residing in Bayside Hills, New York of our parish, and Sneha George, daughter of Mr. Abraham George, and Mrs. Sheba George, residing in New Hyde Park, New York, is scheduled to be held on September 24, 2022, at St. Vincent de Paul Cathedral Parish, Elmont. If there is any canonical embodiment to this marriage, kindly, kindly bring it to the attention of the pastor. This is the first announcement. So um, I'll, I'll go with the one announcement, and then you go with that. Uh, so we, our Sunday school is starting on the next week. So remember, we are going to start the Sunday school, the new academic year, the next week at 8.30 AM next Sunday at 8.30 AM uh, in the morning. So please, all the parents, please make sure that your children are coming on time. Thank you very much. And also, there is a, a camp for the grade 6 through 12th. Uh, a registration link is sent out to the parents group. So timeline strictly um, made to uh, till September 30th. September timeline. Uh, can arrange all the other things, the facilities and all those things. So please, uh, if you you know, I encourage everyone to part every children, those who are in from grade six to twelve, to participate uh, in that camp, uh, uh, officially coordinated by the. MCCL of our party. Rinsi, please. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, last week we had our family day, and the raffle ticket second prize winner was Mrs. Mina Cherian. So um, see me later, Chichi, for the gift. Um, this first prize still has yet to be claimed. The winning ticket number is 038. 13205. I sent an email about it last week, so if you have that winning ticket, please bring it to either me or Achen to claim the first prize. If you have not received your picnic prizes, um, please see me uh, later today to receive them. And we are still collecting $100 per family for Pit and Law, so you can see me or uh, give it to Binu Jacob via Zelle. Today, lunch has been sponsored by the families of our first communicants, so thank you to them. And now I'd like to invite our first holy communicants to say a few words of thanks. As they are coming, let me also express our gratitude to Simi. Yesterday she was also there for the decorations. And let me also thank you all for making our family night the last week so wonderful. Thank you very much. Please come. All the four. All the four, come. You're going to get the mic. Yeah. Sanji, you can help them with the mic. OK? So who's going to say first? Stefan, you? Rio. Mm -hmm. Okay, come.
Good afternoon, His Excellent Excellency, Reverend Dr. Philippos Ma Stephanos, Reverend Father Nobi INF, Reverend Sister Kanchana SIC, Reverend Sister Sita SIC, the Reverend Kat Katchesums, teachers, parents, guests, and friends. First, we would like to thank our Heavenly Father for making us worthy to receive the Holy Spirit through the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Next, we would like to thank the Beloved Termini for blessing us with the Holy Spirit and glorifying today's wonderful Holy Mass with its presence. We would also like to extend our sincere thanks to our beloved Nobiagen for spending lots of his precious time to train us to receive the Holy Eucharist. We truly appreciate your dedication. Next, we would like to thank our beloved sister, Sita and Kanchana, for spending lots of their precious time for training us and gathering many things necessary for this special day. Next, we would like to thank our beloved catechism principal, Mrs. Jenny Chaco, and all our teachers for their outstanding support to grow in faith. Next, we would like to thank our beloved parents, sisters, and brothers for all their support and guidance in all these days. Next, we would like to thank the church se secretary, uh, Rinzianti, tr and treasurer, Binuanko, and all the community members for their outstanding support. Next, we would like to thank all our relatives and guests who came from various places and having glorified today's ceremony with their presence. Next, we would like to thank Mr. George Thomas and all members of our choir for their amazing voices and music in today's Holy Mass. Next, we would like to thank all of the altar servers for their amazing support in today's Peronal Mass. Next, we would like to thank Mrs. Simi Ajit and Mrs. Shirley Prakash for, help, for helping set up the amazing decorations for the basement. Finally, we would like to thank Mr. Don for keeping the church neat and clean for us all the time. Once again, we thank everybody for all their blessings, and we request you all to pray for us to grow in faith with Jesus Christ. Thank you, everybody. Now you can go back to your seats. Remaining, yeah, we are going to wind up. You want to congratulate? You can do that. Otherwise, we are going. Otherwise, we have a special gift for all of you from the Dimeni. That is the most okay. precious gift. That is the Bible and the Rosary. So that the Dimeni will be giving you after this. Well, I spoke extensively during the homily. I don't do, want to make another felicitation speech. All the same, on behalf of the entire party. I extend our cordial congratulations and felicitations to the first communicants and to their parents and all those who made this day possible and meaningful. A special way, Nobiacha, thank you for your super organization of the feast of the day and preparing these kids and make this day a most memorable one in their lives. Once again, thank you one and all. I wish you a blessed feast day and uh, the continued celebration of our feast celebrations until the 8th of September, where we, when we celebrate the great feast of the Nativity of Mother Mary. God, may God bless and the intercession of Mary be with us all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dhirumeni. We, once again, a reminder for uh, the coming forthcoming days uh, celebrations. So we have every day uh, the uh, rosary followed by the evening prayer and the holy mass uh, uh, from 6 o'clock. And on the 8th, Eusebius Dhirumeni and Abraham Achan will be joining us for the mass. Uh, so please make sure that uh, we are participating in all these functions. Thank you. So let me invite Jeevan Vorghese to come forward and receive the gift from the remaining. Come forward. Congratulations, Jeevan. Stephen Joseph.
Rion Morghis. Stefan Simon. So that's it. The rest of the things are in the basement. So once again, thank you all. Thank you, Tirumeni. Thank you very much. And congratulations to all the four boys. Yeah, we'll have the photo session afterwards, after the Kaimutha. Uh, or we'll just take a picture now. Then we'll take the, all the four together. No. Yeah, yeah. Later, later. We'll do it later. OK, one picture. Come. All, of all, all the football. Sisters. Come, come. I'm sorry. Hey, 
the time for the photography so the first photo will be uh, with the older boys okay all the four boys we thank you for our paparazzi our photographers always they have been so perfect
Stephen, come. Stephen, come. Yeah. Sisters. Any on the wherever you want to start in the okay. Okay, uh, no, didn't see Stefan come in. Yeah, same name in the maternity. Yeah, I'll go to this side. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh, 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 your dad and okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so around we have a lot of people, I think, to take pictures. So all of us uh, can go down and uh, get, uh, you know, do the arrangements for the cutting of the cake and all the other things. So others can go down. So you come. Yeah. Okay. Come in. First, Binu Sangeeta and Pichana Machi. Pinna Baki Alarum Gata Vanna Madhi. Okay? Not another. Please share number of my mother. After this photo, you are, others can join. You know? Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's coming out another. The world and the Baki family members make it a one picture, big picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Thank you. thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you.
Put it in the middle of please. People have a little zone on these kids. Okay? So they get to the cake. Thank you.